Can you imagine a war sparked by a pig? Believe it or not, history holds a conflict so absurd that it almost defies belief. We are talking about a war triggered by a stray pig, an animal whose meandering led to international tension and military mobilization. This is the story of the Pig War, a conflict so bizarre, so ridiculously unnecessary, that it stands as a monument to the absurdity that sometimes colors human history. The Pig War, fought between the United States and Great Britain in 1859, was not a war in the conventional sense. Instead, this conflict, born from a territorial dispute over an island off the coast of what is now Washington State, played out like a scene from a darkly comedic play. It is a story that compels us to look beyond the grand narratives of history and to consider the role of chance, miscalculation, and yes, even the humble pig, in shaping the course of human events. To understand the utter absurdity of the Pig War, we must first transport ourselves back to the mid-19th century. The discovery of gold in the Pacific Northwest in the 1840s had brought a flood of settlers to the region, putting a strain on the already fragile relationship between the United States and Great Britain, who both claimed sovereignty over the San Juan Islands. The islands, strategically situated in the Strait of Juan de Fuca, held immense economic and military value, making them a point of contention between the two nations. The shooting of the pig might have been dismissed as a minor incident, a simple misunderstanding between two neighbors. However, in the charged atmosphere of the time, this seemingly insignificant event quickly escalated into a major international crisis. British authorities on the island threatened to arrest Cutler for destroying property, while American settlers rallied to his defense, calling for military protection against what they perceived as British aggression. The situation was further complicated by the presence of both American and British military forces in the region, raising the stakes and increasing the likelihood of a misunderstanding that could spiral out of control. Neither side wanted war, especially not over a pig. And so the stage was set for a conflict that was as unnecessary as it was absurd. The Pig War, despite its grand title, was a conflict largely defined by its colorful cast of characters. On the American side, we have Lyman Cutler, the trigger-happy farmer whose act of porcine justice ignited the crisis. Leading the American military response was Brigadier General William S. Harney, a larger-than-life figure known for his fiery temper and penchant for dramatic pronouncements. Harney, eager to prove his mettle and perhaps expand American territory in the process, adopted an aggressive stance, dispatching troops to San Juan Island and fortifying American positions. On the British side, we have James Douglas, the governor of the Hudson's Bay Company's Vancouver Island colony. While determined to uphold British honor, Douglas was also acutely aware of the need to avoid a war that neither side could win. As tensions mounted, both sides rushed to reinforce their positions on San Juan Island. What followed was a series of miscommunications, blunders, and near misses that could have easily escalated into a full-blown war. In one instance, an American soldier was accidentally fired upon by his own comrades, mistaking him for an enemy infiltrator. In another incident, a British warship nearly opened fire on an American transport ship that had strayed too close to the British encampment. Adding to the absurdity of the situation was the fact that both sides were operating under a strict policy of non-aggression. Soldiers were ordered to avoid any actions that could be construed as provocative, leading to a series of tense but ultimately comical standoffs. Perhaps the most ludicrous moment of the Pig War occurred during a flag incident that nearly tipped the scales from absurdity to tragedy. It involved a British naval officer, Captain Geoffrey Hornby, a man known for his strict adherence to protocol and his love of music. Hornby, stationed aboard his flagship HMS Tribune, was a stickler for routine. Every day, precisely at sunset, his crew would lower the Union Jack while the ship's band played God Save the Queen. One evening, as the familiar strains of the British national anthem filled the air, disaster almost struck. An American soldier, perhaps mistaking the music for a call to battle, impulsively raised the American flag over his encampment. However, cooler heads prevailed and Captain Hornby, a music lover at heart, ordered his men to stand down, averting a catastrophe and preserving the strange, almost comical status quo. The Pig War, thankfully, never escalated beyond a series of tense standoffs and diplomatic protests. 
For over a decade the island remained a point of contention, jointly occupied by British and American troops who, for the most part, coexisted peacefully. Finally, in 1872, an International Arbitration Commission awarded the San Juan Islands to the United States, formally ending the conflict. The Pig War, despite its name and the initial flurry of military posturing, resulted in only one casualty, the unfortunate pig whose demise had triggered the whole affair. No shots were fired in anger, no territory changed hands, except for the island itself of course, and the world breathed a collective sigh of relief that the conflict had been resolved without bloodshed. Today, the pig war stands as a testament to the absurdity of war and the importance of diplomacy and clear communication. Looking back at the pig war from the vantage point of over 150 years, it's hard not to be struck by the sheer absurdity of it all. A stray pig, a territorial dispute, and a series of misunderstandings nearly plunged two of the world's most powerful nations into war. However, the pig war, for all its absurdity, offers important lessons for our own time. It reminds us that even the most carefully crafted plans can be upended by chance and miscalculation. It highlights the dangers of nationalism and the seductive power of jingoism. And perhaps most importantly, it underscores the need for clear communication, diplomacy, and a healthy dose of common sense in international affairs. The Pig War is just one example of the many strange and wonderful stories that history has to offer. From accidental discoveries to bizarre battles, the past is filled with tales that will make you laugh, cry, and shake your head in disbelief. What other historical events have you come across that you would classify as utterly ridiculous? Share your thoughts and discoveries in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys into the past.